Each Skylanders game has a pretty sizable roster, and in general, they are all really solid rosters with a great variety of Skylanders. But if you had to remove one Skylander from each game's roster, who would you pick? Whether it's for one reason or another, why would you get rid of that Skylander from that game? In this video, I'm going to be going through all six games and removing just one Skylander from each game and giving sort of my explanation for each one. Spire's Adventure, like most videos, is generally the hardest one to pick, as a lot of the Skylanders from this game are very iconic and very beloved and none of them do anything too wrong. But who I'm actually going to go with is Bash. I'm sorry to my Bash lovers out there, but he just doesn't do it for me. He's a dragon, but he doesn't even have wings, which kind of sets him back from the other Skylanders. In addition, just looking at his moveset, it's very basic. He's sort of rolling around attack. I think he's done just slightly better by Scorp. His basic tail swing is basically just an earth hammer swing, which we see with Skylanders like Rubble Rouser all the time. And his third attack, where he makes a rock protrude from the ground, is seen by like every earth Skylander under the sun. So nothing about this guy's moveset hasn't been done in a later game and might have been done even better in a later game. So I am going to have to get rid of Bash, although I do like my boy Bash. I also have noticed that he is isn't actually the best in game while he isn't bad and he's fun i would say to some extent he isn't exactly the most effective skylander in combat if you're playing ssa or giants you might as well use another skylander and then when we get to giants i am simply going to go with sprocket sprocket i think this is the pick that most of the community want for giants because no one seems to ever like sprocket i have used her and she is really not the best out there i can agree with most people in saying that she doesn't really satisfy my want for a tech core or a core from skylander shine she feels like just not fun to use a lot of her attacks and her whole gimmick of creating these sort of little like tanks that sit there and shoot around just it doesn't feel the best the mines are fine her primary attack is whatever but she just isn't a fun skylander and so many people seem to hate her apparently a lot of people were starting to come around to her more but still i think most of the community does not like sprocket and i can definitely agree with this to some extent i'm not using her all the time when i do use her it feels like there's something missing so i'm gonna have to agree with the community on this one and i'm gonna have to eliminate sprocket from skylanders giants now looking at skylanders swap force there's a bunch of skylanders a far more than uh, Giants had. But for me, I'm actually going to get her Doomstone. And this is more so in the community's favor because I actually like Doomstone. I think he's a pretty fun Skylander. I think his uh, moveset is very well designed. And he's pretty fun to use, but I know that a lot of people in the community do not like the Skydice at all, so we're going to cut him. There's a few reasons for that. One, I mean, you look at the Earth Swappers, and I would say Rubble Rouser might actually be a little better than Doomstone, although they are very close. And then you look at his movement type, which is the Tornado. Free Ranger is the other Tornado Swapper, and he is pretty much perfection as far as Skylander and swap for skylanders and swappers go so i would definitely take free ranger over doomstone any day and then there's also the pricing doomstone is by far the most expensive swapper and he brings up the average by so much as most of them tend to go for about ten dollars and doomstone is like a thirty dollar skylander and that price you know is only going up he was the last guy to release four swap force and he was already pretty difficult to find in stores so he's rare he's expensive and no one seems to like him lots of people call him dumbstone i'm not really sure why his bottom half is apparently one of the worst of all time for dps and his top half i actually think is fine i think he's fun to to use although the community does not seem to like this guy at all so we're going to cut him from the swap force roster and then moving over to trap team this is once again a pretty big roster and since we cannot just eliminate all of light and dark i'm going to actually look at one of the core eight elements and when i look at the trap masters i think the one that stands out the most is head rush the reason for head rush is because you look at all the elements of trap masters and earth is the only one where there's a clear favorite and a clear least favorite everyone seems to like wallop and no one seems to like head rush and this is where i differ from a lot of people because i actually like head rush more than i like wallop my reasoning is kind of crazy though what i always say about head rush is she is so bad that i have to get really crafty really creative and i have to use a lot of skill in order to be able to effectively use her in combat which basically means i like her because she's so bad that you have to be good at the game to actually use her. Uh, this is a kind of a crazy take and I can see why everyone hates her. She is a very bad Skylander in comparison to someone like Wallop. And so I'm going to cut her from this roster because at least someone like Blastermind does have his lovers. But when it comes to someone like Headrush, I feel like I'm the only person on the planet who actually likes Headrush. And then in Superchargers, this is another one that actually kind of makes me sad as I like this guy, but he is very hated by the community. 
I'm going to have to eliminate Fiesta from this roster. When you look at the two undeads from this game, you have Bone Bash Roller Brawl and you have Fiesta, which Bone Bash Roller Brawl is in my top 10 favorite Skyliners of all time, so it's really hard for me to want to eliminate her, and it makes it easier for me to eliminate the other undead Skyliner being Fiesta. This guy has some of the worst damage per second of all time in any game, and this has been pretty much confirmed. His damage is not very good, but personally, I think he's a pretty fun Skyliner. I think this guy is fun to use. It might be the same situation in Head Rush where he's just like so so bad that you have to get crafty to use him. I'm not totally sure why, but I actually like using Fiesta a lot, but I know that so much of the community does not like this guy at all. So much of the community and a lot of the pro players have agreed that this guy is one of the worst Skylanders of all time, and some people actually think he is the worst Skylander, and that there's a pretty significant gap between him and the second worst Skylander of all time, which really puts into perspective how bad this guy is when you look at a pro level of Skylanders. So I'm going to have to put him in the eliminated category for Superchargers and he he will be this guy under that bites the dust. And then the one for Imaginators. I know this is going to be the craziest one, but I do have the explanation for it. And I'm going to actually eliminate Chompy Mage from the Imaginators roster. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be mad at me because Chompy Mage, he's him. He's the GOAT. It's Chompy Mage. What I have to say about that is, you know, Chompy Mage, he had his humble beginnings in Giants. And then when he jumped over to Trap Team, he was definitely him. Chompy Mage was the GOAT, bro. He was so awesome in Trap Team. Everyone loved Chompy Mage. Then we moved to Imaginators, and it was just weird this guy now had a bazooka and a lot of people didn't have him and he was exclusive to amazon which in and of itself is kind of a weird issue like why he was like one of if not the only skyliner to release in north america but not be in any physical store and only be purchasable online but on top of that you could only buy him if you bought him with four other senseis you could only get chompy mage if you bought him in a villain five pack which is absolutely insane like who's buying five skyliners together on amazon in 2016 it was just so crazy and nowadays this guy goes for like 400 bucks so if we cut him from the roster everyone would save 400 dollars on their scout and imaginaries collection which i think everyone needs at this point i mean chompy mage is so expensive it's so rare and he's becoming exceedingly difficult to even find listings for him on sites like ebay or mercari this guy's price is only going up and in imaginators it, he just almost doesn't even feel like chompy mage instead of having his classic moveset that worked perfectly in trap team with his staff and turning into a giant chompy that sends out shockwaves and summoning chompies it worked so well in trap team and imaginators they kind of just threw all that on the window and said hey we're gonna stuff chompies in an rpg and shoot them out at the enemies it was crazy it was wild i don't know really why they did it but chompy mage this is doesn't feel the same and if you're gonna say well his gameplay is great his gameplay is great you could say that he is you know peak villain sensei gameplay taekwon crow is just it's more peak villain sensei gameplay so just use taekwon crow in my opinion i know a lot of these might throw a lot of people off but this is just my personal opinion and this is mostly actually based on the community and sort of what i see from the community and how people uh like their skylanders and which skylanders people don't like so a lot of this actually was not up to sort of my personal preference and a lot of these were based on you guys but some of it of course was my personal opinion it's also worth noting half of these were earth skylanders so maybe this is why a lot of people just don't seem to like the earth element that much as bash doomstone and head rush were all skylanders that i decided to cut from the rosters so i appreciate you guys watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and just remember i do love pretty much all of the skylanders that i decided to cut for this video i just did it because i sort of wanted to give back to you guys a little bit so i'll see you all in the next one bye bye everybody